Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. My name is Jessica if you are. Just want to give a quick disclaimer that I am pretty sick right now. Do not let the appearances fool you. This is all just smoke and mirrors over here. I have been quite sick for almost a week now. Pretty sure it was the flu and I have the tail end of the sickness still lingering in my head and I might sound a little bit different today. Sorry if my voice sounds gross, but I just wanted to film this video. It always makes me feel a little bit better when I take a shower, put on makeup and kind of get myself put together for the day when I'm sick. And I think it's doing the trick right now. And also I'm just, you know, finally getting to the end of what I hope is um, the end of the sickness. I actually stayed home from work sick today, which I almost never do. I normally just like grin and bear it like a true teacher does, but I couldn't do that any longer. I did it for three days and I finally needed to give myself a break and some time to rest and recuperate. And I'm so glad that I did. I also didn't want to waste this makeup look. So why not sit down and film my rolling project pan update? So in this series, I am always working on 10 different beauty products, mostly with the goal of finishing them up entirely and getting them out of my collection. But there are a few in here as well that have different goals and you'll see those as they come. So let's get right on into this update. But before we do, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my channel. It would mean so much to me. I would love to have you in my little makeup community. Let's get right on into the video. Let's start off with a bang here. Something that has been a long time coming, my Tarte's Pro Glow Palette. I've been working on the bronzing shade in here called Sculpt. I've been working on this item since January of 2023, so well over a year now, but I'm only going to include updates from January of this year because we don't have all day around here. Let's just kind of cut to the chase. But this is what it was looking like at the beginning of the year. And it was very close to being finished up. I just recently repressed it. I've been using this religiously as my bronzer shade and it's been making steady progress throughout the last couple of months. Here was what it was looking like last month. I had just the tiniest bit left. It was weighing 5.73 grams. I used it eight more times during the past month, making for 296 uses total in this project. Today it's weighing 5.6 grams. So I used up the remaining 0.13 grams of product and here's what it's looking like today completely empty finally oh my gosh I can't believe the day has finally come I finally get to move on from this product and I feel very satisfied that I have now two empty pans in this palette and a nice looking pan in that highlighter up there and I'm excited just to put this back in my makeup drawer give it a little bit of a break and work on other things for the remainder of the year so that is my first update the first empty of this video, since January of this year, I used 1.18 grams of product total. I don't even know how much product I used in total during the entire time that I've been working on this item, but I'm not even gonna worry about that right now. I'm just happy to say that it's gone, and I can't believe I almost reached 300 uses, just four uses shy of 300. I kind of wish I'd hit 300 just to be a nice round number, but I think 296 uses on a bronzer just goes to show uh, how long a bronzer really does last, so. Feeling very happy about this one and so excited to roll this out. Next is the foundation that I'm currently panning. This is the Clinique Even Better Foundation. I've been working on this since January of this year. It was weighing 138.6 grams when I first rolled it in. As of last month, it was weighing 127.96 grams. I reached for it 15 times this past month, making for 68 uses total. Today it weighs 124.11 grams, so I used 3.85 grams this month. And I think at this point we are just about below the halfway point on this foundation. It's just about there in the bottle. And I'm gonna kind of slow down on this one a little bit. It's very, very full coverage. I've been mixing it with several other products to kind of sheer it out a little bit, including the e.l.f. Halo Glow is like the main one. And then I also color correct it with a few other items. So it's getting a lot of different products mixed in with it. So I'm not using like a ton of product. But with all those other items mixed in with it, I'm probably using a little bit less foundation than I normally would. However, I'm also now applying this with a sponge, which I really enjoy a lot more than a brush. I feel like it gives a much less cakey finish when I apply it that way and it also eats up a lot of the product into the sponge. So maybe I'm using a little bit more product with that type of application. But I think this will be a great product to wear in the summer and I'm okay with kind of slowing down on it a little bit. And I think 15 uses is plenty on this item for a month and I think if I continue to use it about that much, it should last me through the summer months and be empty by either late summer or early fall. And I'm okay with it kind of lingering around for a little bit. It's a very high coverage foundation. So of course it's gonna take me a little bit longer to use it. And I don't have a lot of foundations waiting around in the background. So it's okay that this one's taking me a little bit longer and I'm just happy that it's getting the use on it because it was very expensive and it's not the best color match but we're making it work and I'm happy I'm not wasting my money on it. 
Next is my Cody Airspun powder, but I have it in this old Tarte packaging. And I finally decanted the remainder of the product into this packaging and I was able to not dispose of the old packaging, but at least stop having it leak out of that broken packaging like it had been for months and months and months in my drawer. So I only have the weight difference from last month since that's when I put everything into this container. It was weighing 38.24 grams last month and looking like this. I used it 22 times, making for 75 uses total. Today it weighs 34.13 grams. I used 4.21 grams of product and here's what it's looking like today. It's well below the halfway point now, and I don't think I'll be able to finish this up in the next month, but definitely in the next two months, this should be an empty. And then I get to buy a new loose powder, which I haven't done in years and years and years, and I'm excited to try something new. So looking forward to that coming up soon. Next is the blush that I'm currently panning. This is a sample blush from The Balm in their Alternative Rock line. And this is the shade Bare Minimum, which is like a nice peachy neutral shade. I actually have it on my cheeks today. Oh. I have to go. I have a call. I'll, call. I'll be right back. Okay. Hi, I'm back and uh, back to this blush. So, oh my gosh, think about this blush. It is going to take me forever to use up this blush. I don't know what I was thinking bringing this into this project this year. I was obviously feeling very brave and very ambitious, uh, but now here we are in April or almost April and I'm getting a little bit nervous. So here's what this blush was looking like when I first brought it into the project in January. It was weighing 13.14 grams. In these progress videos, you probably won't see much of a difference, but here they are for you all the same. As of last month, it was looking like this and it was weighing 12.92 grams. I used it 22 times in the past month, making for 68 uses total. Today it weighs 12.91 grams, so I used just 0.01 grams of product somehow. I don't know how that's possible. I've always managed to make a bigger jump in previous months, and I used it just as much as I always have. So I can't explain that. You know, these scales are not perfect. They can be a little bit faulty sometimes. Take it with a grain of salt, but I am using it. It's looking quite well loved on the surface there, but we are nowhere close to pan as far as I can tell. I'm just going to continue plugging away at this one a little bit at a time and hopefully I will have a pan for you maybe by June and using this one up this year might be a little bit of a stretch but we will do our best and see what happens. Another product that doesn't seem to want to budge is my Kaylin eye polish. So this is a long haul item for me this year, kind of an experimental project pan item. I have no idea what I'm going to be able to do with this thing. It was just a good way for me to get use on it this year. When I first brought this into the project, it was weighing 16.6 grams. As of last month, it was weighing 16.57 grams. I reached for it 15 times in the past month, making for 52 uses total. Today, it's weighing 16.55 grams. So I was able to go down 0.02 grams but not much to show for it at all. In those 52 uses, I've only been able to make a 0.05 gram dent in this product, but I'm gonna continue to use it. I put this in my inner corner most days and I kind of blend it out from there just to give a nice little pop in the inner corner and it's beautiful for that. But you know, with most eye pigments, a little bit goes a long way and it's gonna be really hard to make any kind of dent in this. But again, we'll see what happens with it. We're gonna keep plugging away at it and maybe we will have some exciting progress by the end of the year. Slow and steady wins the race, right? Next is the lipstick that I've been painting. This is from KVD, their studded lip cream in the shade Cathedral. A really beautiful kind of like deeper nude shade and I've been really enjoying wearing this shade, but it's really not the best for the springtime. And I think I'm actually going to roll this out this month, even though I haven't even gotten close to finishing it up, but I will show you the progress that I have been able to make. Here's what it was looking like when I first brought it into the project in January. It was weighing 25.72 grams. And over the past several months, I have been able to use up a good chunk of this lipstick but it's just kind of going out of season for now so here's what it was looking like last month it was weighing 25.23 grams i reached for it 10 times in the past month making for 29 uses total in this project here's what it's looking like today it's weighing 25 grams i used up 0.23 grams of product in the past month and i've now used 0.72 grams total in the time that it's been in this project so here's the drawings that i've been taking on this lipstick so here's where we started i've been making these chunks of progress and in the past month this little white wedge that you see right here is the amount of progress that I've been able to make. In 10 uses that's not so great. It's a very pigmented lipstick and I try not to over apply it otherwise it goes all over my teeth so that is going to be why it's taking me such a long time to make that amount of progress and I think what I'm going to do is roll this item out because in the spring and summer months this kind of shade is not what I'm going to be wanting to reach for but I'm going to love reaching for this shade in the fall and winter months towards the end of this year so I'm going to bring this back into the project 
maybe in like August or September and give myself a break on it until then and bring in some other lip products that are more fitting for this time of year. So say goodbye to this lipstick, but she will be back. I still have the hope and the goal to finish this up before the end of the year. It's such a beautiful formula. I really have been enjoying wearing it and I'll be happy to reach for her again in the fall. Next item is a primer. This is from L'Oreal. This is their Magic Perfecting Base, which is kind of like a pore filling primer. I really do like this one from the drugstore. It's one of the better options that I've been able to find. This item came into the project in February and my goal on it is to hit pan. So here's what it was looking like back in February. It was weighing 65.16 grams. I reached for it 15 times in the first months and here's what it was looking like then. It was weighing 63.77 grams. And during the month of March, I reached for it 11 more times, making for 26 uses total. And here's what this is looking like today and as you can see I have hit pan today it's weighing 62.7 grams so I used 1.07 grams in the past month and I thought I would roll this out I thought that hitting pan on this would be a satisfying goal for me but I figured you know two months is not enough time to devote on this primer and this primer is pretty old in my collection. I probably had it for like almost three years. So why not keep it in, continue working on it? I don't reach for it every day and I use just a small amount, but why not keep it in and try and finish it up this year? You know, get it out of my inventory. So that's what I'm gonna do with this primer. I think that I should be able to finish it up in a couple months, maybe like four or five months. I'm not in a rush. I've kind of relaxed a little bit in my project panning and I'm okay with things taking a long time. And this one will make me happy if I just use it up this year and I think I can easily do that. So this one's gonna stay in. Didn't think that was gonna happen, but that was my decision and I'm excited to keep working on it. Next is a lip product from e.l.f. This is their Hydrating Core Lip Shine in the shade Joyful. And I'm a little mad at myself because I forgot to draw this in my little book when I first brought it into the project, so I don't have that drawing to share with you, but I at least have the video. So here's what it was looking like when I first brought it into the project. I brought it in just last month and it was weighing 15.25 grams. I reached for it 17 times and today it's weighing 14.88 grams. So I used 0.37 grams of product and here's what it's looking like today. And I don't know how much of a difference you'll see, but I think I probably used maybe like a third or almost half of the product that was there. And this is basically just like my in my purse lip topper that I always have. It's a nice hydrator. It adds a nice little flush of color to the lips. Not too much. It's really easy to reach for with any lip color that I'm wearing or just by itself. And I have no doubt that I'll be finishing this up pretty soon. Maybe not by next month, but hopefully in the next two months, I should have this one empty for you guys. My poor little voice is getting very tired, but we are almost through with this video, so keep on trucking, Jessica. Next item is the concealer that I'm panning. This is the NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum, and I have been loving reaching for this. I don't love this as a concealer, but I've been wearing it as a foundation here and there, and I really, really have been enjoying that. So here's what this concealer was looking like when I first brought it in last month. It was weighing 18.06 grams. I reached for it 23 times in the past month. Today it weighs 16.53 grams, so I've used 1.53 grams of product, and here's what it's looking like today. And we have quite a nice little jump here. I think it was just above this little line right there and it went all the way up there so I probably used about a third of the remaining product that was in there and I think again in the next two months this one should be empty I'm going to keep reaching for this as a foundation basically when I'm not feeling the more full coverage Clinique foundation this is a great option for me I basically just use this on like my discoloration areas under my eye spread it out real nice not as like a full foundation, but just kind of like spot concealing almost. And then just covering that with like a powder. And it's a nice like less makeup -y makeup look for work. I've kind of been feeling just less makeup. I don't know. I'm just kind of a new era right now. I'm over wearing like the full beat every day. Maybe that's because I haven't been feeling very well. I've been so sick this month and I don't really want to put on a lot of makeup. And this has been a nice option for days like that when I just want something more light and natural. And I'm enjoying getting use on it in that way. So I'm excited to keep reaching for it in that function. And I think that'll help me go through the product quite a bit faster. Next is my NARS Laguna Bronzing Cream. I have the shade O2, and my goal for this one is to hit pan. I brought this in just last month. Here's what it was looking like. It was weighing 56.37 grams. I reached for it 16 times in the past month. Today, it weighs 55.76 grams. I used 0.61 grams of product, and here's what it's looking like today. And hopefully you notice that the dip is a little bit deeper, but we do not have a pan yet, but I am excited to keep reaching for this. I really do love this bronzer, and I'm so happy that I brought it into the project. It's a great excuse 
excuse for me to reach for it and not you know, just neglect it because it was expensive. I tend to do that with my expensive items, but why? Like I should be using the things that I spent so much money on. This is like a $40 bronzer, but it is gorgeous. And there's a ton of product in here. So it's not like it's like a waste of money. It's a good bang for your buck. It'll last me a long time and I'm gonna keep reaching for it. I don't think I'm gonna like try and finish it up in this project, but once I hit pan on it, I'll be happy to got some good use. And I would like to have this as part of my more regular makeup routine in the future. So those are my 10 items. I have these two rolling out, the Tartiste Sculpting Bronzer. Finally, I get to roll that one out and call it an empty. And then this little lipstick, not an empty yet, but we're gonna give her a break and revisit her in the fall months. So that means I get to bring in a couple new items. Oh, but real quick, I forgot to mention, I'm always working on a sample item in this rolling project pan because I'm trying to get through all of my samples that I have. If I don't bring them into a project, I basically forget they exist and I will never ever use them. So this is a great way for me to remember to use them and not just you know, have them taking up space in my home. Last month I brought in this little hair sampler from Fakai and I'm happy to say that I did finally use it. I actually just used it today when I took a shower. It includes a scalp scrub, a shampoo, and then a detangling rinse conditioner. I don't know much to say about this, but I will say that the detangling rinse conditioner is basically just like water. It's very thin and fluidy and clear it's not like a thick creamy conditioner that i prefer something about like that thick conditioner just makes me feel like it's really doing what it's supposed to do and this was a very unsatisfying experience for my conditioning needs so i put it on my hair and i quickly went in with my other hair conditioning mask to actually condition my hair so that's all i have to say about these I don't have much more of an opinion. I think just one use on a shampoo is kind of hard to get a good read on it. And then with the scalp scrub, like, is that something I need? I don't know. Although my, I will say my hair feels very clean. So there is that, but I used up the sample, so yay. So now I get to tell you what products are rolling into this project. So since I rolled out a lip color that was just not best for the season, of course I need to bring in a new lip color that fits better with the spring and summer months. So I decided to reach for this one from Rimmel. This is the Kate Moss collection and this is the shade 32. It's like a really pretty peachy nude. And these shades aren't the easiest for me to wear, especially like when my skin is not tanned, but hopefully soon it will be a little bit more tanned. And I think the shade like this will be really fun to wear in the spring and summer months. This is also a great layering shade. I can put this over a lot of other lipsticks to kind of just lighten them up a little bit, give them a little bit more of a peachy look. And I think I should be able to also use this as a blush. So I have quite a bit of product remaining on this bullet. I've had this thing for years, so it's about time that I finish it up. I do want to finish up this lipstick. It's part of my plan to pan in 2024. I don't know how easy it's going to be. I don't know if I'll be able to do this by August or September when I bring in that other lipstick back, but I'm going to do my best on it in the next couple months, see what progress we can make on it, and hopefully finish this one up before the year is up. The next item was one that I was really trying to hit pan on last year and I wasn't able to do so. This is from Hourglass. This is their ambient lighting powder in the shade Dim Light, and I did my darndest. I reached for it all the time last year and I barely even made a dent and that just goes to show you how long these powders really do last. So here's what this powder is looking like today. You can see it has a nice little dip going. It's very flat. There used to be like a nice dome in here but we still are quite a bit away from pan. I wasn't planning on bringing this into a project pan but I figured if I'm going to ever hit pan on it I'm gonna need it to be in a project. Otherwise, I just will not remember to reach for it. It's just not my favorite shade of the ambient lighting powders. I basically use this as a finishing powder all over my cheeks, like just to kind of blend in whatever other things I have going on in my cheek area, and it's fine. It's just not something I really need, but I wanna get use on it because I paid good money for it and I've had it for years and I would just love to have a pan on it at some point. So maybe it's gonna happen this year. I'm gonna do my best. Wish me luck. And I think that with all of your encouragement, I should be able to finally hit that goal. And lastly, the item from my sample bag that's coming into this project is a cleanser from Shiseido. This is their clarifying cleansing foam. I wouldn't say this is a sample. It's a very like deluxe size sample. Maybe it's like a travel size that they sell. Not sure. It came into my life a long time ago. I don't even remember how but I would like to have this finished up. It does have a pretty big air bubble in there. If I'm looking at the bottle, I can see that it's maybe only about halfway full at this point. I'm gonna stick this into my shower and use it as my nightly face wash, and I should be able to get through it pretty quickly by using it that way. 
Okay, that is all. We made it just barely. I had to like drag myself to the finish line. My voice is dying. So I'm gonna wrap this video up. Thank you so much for watching my rolling project pan update. I appreciate you so much for being here. If you like this video, please give it a quick thumbs up before you leave. I would appreciate it so much. I'm sending love out to you wherever you are in the world and I hope you are doing well. And I cannot wait to see you in my next video. But until then, bye.